What's up, guys? Cheers. Let me fix this mod real quick. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Clink. This is Agua. <clears throat> um, first and foremost, I hope everybody's doing amazing, taking care of themselves as always. And uh, we're going to jump straight into this video because I really, really want to get this done and out the way already. This is going on like seventh time. There was a battery lighting issue yesterday. Battery was going dead. Um, ran out of memory. Had to delete mad stuff. And I was like, bro, like, come on. But I'm still 10 toes strong. We're staying strong. We're going to get this done. So a boom, bada, 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 bing, bada, boom, bada, bing. All right, see, boy, XX Robbie. Uh, it's a little short story time. Probably a little life lesson in here also. And if you have ever been through anything kind of weird and strange like this in life, let me know in the comments because this could probably give me some clarity. I'm still kind of lost over here and a little mind buzzwood, but this is also a part of my journey. And you know what I'm saying? I take things with a light, a light a little sort of grain. Um, so I was, it was a nice day. I think sun coming down and it's probably that golden hour where you can see the sunset. Heading back home, stopped at the train, and on my way down to the train, I seen this amazing, beautiful creature. She was standing by the train looking like an anime protagonist. And I said, I'm going to jump out my natural habitat and try to communicate with this beast. And threw myself out there. I just went to say what's up. Long story short, foremost, when I go to talk to people, it's more like uh, I'm not looking for nothing. I'm not looking to date you. I'm not looking to get something up out of you. I honestly just enjoy the conversation. I honestly don't like being on a train waiting for, you feel me? Like most obvious stuff, like people be like <clears throat> listening to music or just scrolling on a bunch of apps. Like it's so boring. It's so basic. You feel me? So I seen a rare gem and I was like, hey shoot my shot see where it goes so we started talking for a little bit you know what i'm saying it was a nice little cool vibe and then she hits me with the i got a boyfriend and i said doo -doo. oh lord great heavens doo -doo. <laughs> um but i also said uh yeah that's cool too you know what i'm saying i respect what y'all got going on and stuff like that you know, i'm not really i'm not here to you know swipe up you know what I'm saying? Swipe you up and eat you like a bag of Skittles. <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop. But, um, yeah, I just said, like, I respect that, whatever. We had a nice little conversation. So, heading off the train, she gives me uh, the Instagram, you know what I'm saying? And i've seen that she's an artist like she has an amazing voice and she records music and stuff like that so i was i was amazed i was like a little mind blown away because i was like bro like her first song i heard was uh sanity and it goes like i'm losing my sanity to be in yo son you feel me so i was like okay like i see you like that's what's up and then uh, I DM this person and uh, they uh, notifications, DMs on Instagram was turned off. So unfortunately, I was like, ah, oh, dang, like I can't even get through. You feel me? So that's when I thought to myself, like, hey, you know, uh, maybe if I but actually before that part, before that part, her best friend hits me up. And I was like, yo, I heard you was talking to my girl on the train, man. What do you think this is? Some type of hotline bling. You feel me? And I was just like, yo, that's cool, whatever. I got my respect for both of y'all. Y'all, what you doing? Y'all, weird stuff, whatever y'all doing in the background. Y'all can keep that to yourself. But I think Bella has an amazing voice. She sounds, she's a great artist. I heard a few of her tracks and like, I would love to collab. And um, she was like, by the way, her best friend's a girl. And she was like, I was just pretending to be a guy you feel me to get the reaction all of that great stuff so we had a great laugh i'm thinking in my mind like we vibing and right now which is crazy my mom is actually calling me <laughs> and i'm like i can't stop this video for an eighth time bro please 
please don't let nothing ruin this video because I am so tired of redoing this. But we basically we we left that train. I got the Instagram, whatever, and she never DM me back. You know what I'm saying ever. And I was like, dang, like no communication at all. She act like I was a stranger. She act like she didn't know me. She act like we did not just talk face to face, had eye contact, and it was a good vibe. But unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? She didn't want to do that. But her best friend reached out and I was like, bro, like that's crazy. And lucky me, like maybe I can ask her best friend, would you like to do a collab? You feel me? Like make a nice little collab. Cause like as an artist myself, you feel me? Like I've seen potential. I've seen great talent. And I'm just trying to make something fire. You feel me? And I was like, this person is lit for that. So the best friend does the unbelievable, which was we were just having a conversation. And I go, hey, is it cool if you hit up Bella? Let me know what she thinks about a collab. She goes to the person and then never gets back to me, never lets me know in nothing. And I'm like, dang, like. Did I just ask you a question? Like, that's like basically telling me like, yo, what flavor ice cream you like, chocolate or vanilla? And then you go tell me, I'm gonna go look on the menu to see if there's mango. And then you never come back. Like, can you please make it make sense for me? Like, please, please. Like, what type of weird bull you got going on over here? So um, I guess from there, it was just, um, it was just like, it was weird. Um, I cannot keep looking at this right now, but I'm getting spam call right now. My mom's like, yo, I'm going to beat his when I get back. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> but so, uh, basically I, had to wait a few days because I didn't want to come off like, yo, like I'm fiending for this collab. Like I'm, I'm so obsessed. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah. I was like, yo, that's cool. Maybe she'll get back to me in like two days. Maybe she busy. Maybe she ran out to, you know, get some vegan steak or some shit. I don't fucking know. So after them two days, I, I reached back out like, yo, like, um, so did Bella ever tell you anything? Like, did she say yes or no? And then off the rip, it was like, oh, she's kind of going through the emotions right now. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to work on herself. She's trying to do blah, 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 which is basically a bunch of nonsense. And I was like, all right, that's cool. So the answer is it's a no. That's what you had to say. Like, it's a no. And like, all I said after that was like, yo. There's, there's no, like, there's no bad blood. Like, I'm not, like, mad. I'm not, like, nothing like that. It's just, all right, just look out for her. And that's really that. It was nothing really I could do. So, um, I guess after that, it was just, you know, no response again. It was just silence. And I was like, all right, but so she got actually a emotional mental problem where she just likes, you know, ghosting people and making them feel like they're not heard in a way. That's her uh, natural reaction. So in my brain, it told me that she's not mature. You know what I'm saying? She still runs on that that kid type of mindset where she's afraid to speak up, communicate and talk like an adult for some reason. So I'm like, all right, cool. That's just how their brain was operating at the time. You feel me? They never probably had a decent person like me who just gives like uh, who's just looking for a simple yes or no type of question. But it was so taken out of proportion. Like I'm waiting like literally like days like, dang, like you really got to do all of this. You feel me? So I seen the song and I was like, yo, it's a nice song. I did a remix to the song to let Bella know, you know what I'm saying? 
I did a remix to the song to let Bella know, like, yo, I'm also, I'm serious about this. Like, I'm not a regular person. And I think we we could probably go, we could do amazing on this collab. Like, I still think she had a lot of potential. I still think she's a great artist. But um, fortunately, there was still no communication, no response, nothing like that. And I was like, dang, that's tough. I had to a song too, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just to show, like, yo, I was serious about it. Like, that's it. But after then, I was like, all right, she doing her thing or whatever. And then a few more days go past. And this is when everything's kind of dead. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing really there no more. But there's a reel that pops up on my news feed. And I'm scrolling a little bit. And it's like, yo, if you could see one person be successful, who would it be? Tag that person. In the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, that's crazy, though. But like, you know what I'm saying? The kindness of my heart. I'm like, yo, I still think she's an amazing, amazing artist. I still think she's a great person. So I'm like, even though things didn't work out, boom, tagged her. Tagged her and was like, yo. All the real said was, I would love to see you succeed. That's all it was. Just a little bit of positive energy. And I guess, I don't know how she took that, but... I don't think she took that well. <laughs> I don't. I don't. And uh, so, but only reason why I says that, but only reason why I said that, because like a few days after, she posted another song, and I'm listening to the song like, yo, this is not bad though. I got a little flavor in there. So I go in the comments, and basically all I said was clapping emoji and encore know what i'm saying as in yo good job that's a nice song now i don't know what possibly went wrong with her brain or the people around her or the toxic relationship or you feel me but i can't speak on that that toxic relationship because that's something that they got going on and that's something that i don't know you feel me i can't speak on something that i don't know right so it's like <clears throat> um she blocked me and then this was where my mind was just kind of like scramble like damn like all i do is just gave you a compliment like yo it's a good song and i got blocked for that and i was like just wow like mine was just gone so moral of the story is no matter how much you try to like help somebody in life, like if they're a snake, they're going to bite you. You feel me? And it's like, it's always going to be some type of um complications and stuff like that. So uh, I guess um, the best way to put it would be, uh, I don't know. I'm not too sure. So if y'all, Guys, ever went through some type of weird experience like this in life? You know what I'm saying? Write down in the comments. Let me know because they're probably giving me a little clarity. Like, yo, even though I, I didn't do nothing wrong, it just feels like at least I know somebody else been through something like this too, which was kind of um, different. So uh, much love. You know what I'm saying much appreciation. I'm going to drop the, the name in the comments below so y'all can go check out the page, check out the song. I still think she's a great artist. And just has a lot more healing and growing to do as a person herself because she could have handled that a lot more better. But, um, you know, feel free to DM her and check on her sanity. You feel me? Because something didn't seem too right. But, uh, hey, I'm not here to save nobody. <laughs> like, I'm not. But y'all could definitely do that if y'all want. Um, Yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, have a good one. Peace out.